Hey YouTube, given that this is going to be the first of many videos in my PCT line of videos, I thought I'd give a little background of what I'm going to be doing. On March 11th, 2019, I'll be starting my long journey from Mexico to Canada on the Pacific Crest Trail. For those of you who don't know, the Pacific Crest Trail is a long distance hiking and equestrian trail spanning 2,650 miles from Mexico to Canada, crossing through the states of California, Oregon, and Washington. In order to complete this trail in one continuous trip, I'll have to carry everything I need on my back. Along the way, there will be trail towns where I can resupply on my food and anything else I may be low on. I'm making this video to show you the gear I'll be using to survive on the trail that may take anywhere from four to six months, depending on my abilities and the weather. So without dragging this out too long, let's get to the gear. Starting out with arguably the most important piece of gear, this is my Light AF 40 liter Curve custom backpack made by Chris at Light AF. It has a 40 liter main body capacity plus side pockets for water bottles and for me, my cook system. It also has an extra large hip belt because I am not a small person with two extra large hip belt pockets. It also has a Justin UL one liter water bottle st strap pocket and a Z-Pack strap pocket. Moving on to my sleep system. This is my Enlightened Equipment Revelation 20 degree quilt. A Z-Pax duplex tent. I got mine in the spruce green. It's a little bit heavier Dyneema, which I wanted for the durability. Inside the stuff sack, I also have my Z-Pax carbon tent poles. I've decided to go without trekking poles for this through hike. And this is a trekking pole style tent. It is not a freestanding tent, so I had to get the tent poles. Right here are my eight MSR mini groundhog stakes. This is my Thermarest Neo Air X Lite uh, long version. I originally started out with the regular and found out that the long not only added five inches of length, which I really didn't need, but it added five inches of width. My shoulders are 21 inches wide. The regular pad was 20 inches wide, so it made sleeping kind of interesting. It's a very comfortable pad, just wasn't very wide. This is my Trekology pillow. I absolutely love that thing. A small ground sheet for when I'm cowboy camping to help protect my inflatable thermal rest. I have a Z-Pax bear bag. I originally had the Z-Pax bear bag kit, but the first time I tested it, the Z-Line ripped on me and a hole tore in the rock sack. So I replaced those with Light AF's rock sack, slick line, and a PCT stick, which is very, very cool. It weighs next to nothing, and it keeps you from having to use a stick when you use the PCT-style bear bag hang. I wanted the option to cold soak and cook and not have to carry two different canisters, so I went with the Bargo Bot 700. It's got a screw-top lid with a seal. It's good for cold soaking. It does not come with the handles this way. I dipped them in flex seal to give a little bit of a thermal grip so that I could hold on to it while it was hot. I have opted to use one of these gas can stands. It adds less than an ounce and it fits right inside my pot so it doesn't hurt me at all and it's nice to have the stability. I am using the Snow Peak Titanium Spork. Got my lighter, my mini pack towel to clean my pot after I'm done eating. The MSR Pocket Rocket 2. I've actually just upgraded from the BRS stove, which was a very nice stove. It just didn't handle well with wind, so I wanted to upgrade. As for water, I have two one liter smart water bottles for storage that will fit in the side pockets of my pack. Be the Life Water 23 fluid ounce bottle on my shoulder strap because it's more comfortable than the one liter smart water bottle on my strap. I have two Knock Vecto 2 liter capacity water bladders. Uh, mainly for the desert, I will probably send one home when I reach the Sierra and water is more plentiful. Filtration, I have a Sawyer Squeeze, which I recently got to use for the first time and it was amazing. Super easy to use. I also have a Benz Bug Net. I probably won't need it for very much of the trail, but it weighs absolutely nothing and takes no space, so I'm going to carry it the whole time. My cat hole kit, if you will. It's my Deuce of Spades trowel. It's 
crazy light and it fits right in one of my hip belt pockets. Then of course, the toilet paper. I'm carrying this composition book so that I can write to my wife and son at night and then when I get into towns I can mail them off the letters so they can read about my day. I just feel like those letters will be a little more personal to them than my YouTube videos will be. I have a Sharpie for making hitchhiking signs and my pen for writing in my composition book. Both of these have Luco tape wrapped around them to save space inside my pack. It's quite a bit of Luco tape on there for making bandages and covering blisters and things of that nature. The shoes I'll be wearing, at least to start, I would like to finish with them, it just depends on the availability, are the Ultra Lone Peak 4s. I've moved from the 3.5s when I stopped making those. I love these shoes. And these particular pair have about 200 miles on them already. They're decked out with lock laces because after the first hike, having to bend down and retie my shoes four or five times, I decided lock laces were a great investment and I will never turn back. I have my Sun Grubbies UV protectant umbrella for the desert. I have a coal wind jacket for when it's not quite cold enough to wear my puffy and my rain jacket's just a little too hot. I have my Outdoor Research Helium 2 rain jacket. My Z seat for comfort. I have a medium sized REI pack towel for drying myself off. My first aid kit full of all kinds of goodies first aid, medicine, repair kits for me and my gear, personal hygiene products. I will be making a video later about everything that is in that massive first aid bag. My electronics. I have two Anchor 2100 milliamp hour batteries. <clears throat> it's a little bit of overkill, but I will be taking all my pictures, videos, editing, and posting with my iPhone, which I'm currently using. Both of these battery banks have two USB ports. This is a, uh, like a selfie button, I guess, to help take pictures when I'm not near the phone. This is a dual micro USB charging cable. So I can charge both battery banks at the same time, save wall space and extra gear in my pack. I have an Anchor Quick Charger with two USB outlets so I can charge my phone and both battery banks using one outlet. This folds out to hold my phone. And then my Gorilla Mini Pod. I have a compass because I do plan on using my compass and paper maps as backup in case my Gut Hooks app or phone or any of my other technology fails on me. I'll be taking two pairs of darn tough socks so I can change them every day just for a little bit of uh, mental comfort. I also will have two pairs of sock liners. For sleeping, I have the REI silk base layers, top and bottom. For a camp shirt, I have this light AF t-shirt just so I can get out of my sweaty clothes for the day while I'm sitting around at camp. I have a pair of Faded Glory socks to sleep in. These are incredibly warm. Camp shoes, just to let my feet air out. This is my thermal beanie. There's my neck gaiter to keep my face warm when the breeze is really chilly. My ex officio bandana for cleaning myself. I have a pair of Cirrus three season gloves. A pair of Outdoor Research sun gloves for the desert to keep my hands from blistering. An Outdoor Research hat with the attachment for extra sun protection. I have a pair of Columbia tights for when it's a little chilly. I don't like hiking in pants, so I'll have those for when it's a little too cool. It's an REI long sleeve running shirt that I'll be wearing the whole length of the trail. My ex officio nine inch underwear. REI running shorts. And for my thermal jacket, I have my Enlightened Equipment Apex Torrid. It's a synthetic rather than a down jacket, just so it works better for at all if it gets wet. This is the extra large hooded version, and it is incredibly light and surprisingly warm for its weight. And my Ultra Gators. They have these nice little attachment points that fit perfectly with my shoes. 
since they're made by the same company. Now all this gear is just what I am starting with. This will be my first real backpacking trip, so I'm not sure what will change. I'm sure I will change some things along the way as I start gaining some experience. In the Sierra, I will have to have a couple extra items. I am required to carry a bear canister. I've chosen the BV500, which is a Bear Vault 500. I will also need an ice axe. I have the Grivel G1. I will be replacing my two pair of darn tough socks with these two pair of Randy Sun waterproof socks and my Catula micro spikes. But other than that, this is my setup. So I hope you guys enjoyed getting a good look at all my gear. Like I say, I'm sure some things will change. I'll add, take away as I start to gain more experience on the trail. That's all I really have for you guys right now. For those of you who are interested in how I get all of this stuff in my pack, I will be making a future video showing you just how I pack all of my gear to make it all fit comfortably. There are a couple pieces of equipment that I didn't show in the video because I haven't received them yet. I haven't purchased my Garmin InReach. I'm waiting on that one. A cheap pair of sunglasses that I'll pick up in California before I hit the trail. And my anti-gravity gear rain pants, which are still in the mail. Thanks for watching, and if you're interested, I will be documenting my entire through hike of the PCT and will be posting to YouTube as often as I can when I get proper cell reception. Till next time.